The Fainaroos are back. Uh, our usual obstacles are the White House, the CIA, the FBI. Last week it was the National Security Agency in the United States of Secrets. In the case of League of Denial, the National Football League was in some ways especially formidable. Asking the NFL the hard question about their business, what did they know and when did they know about the devastating invisible toll the game was taking on the brains of their employees, some of our favorite sports heroes, was our mandate. And the NFL would be damned if they would answer those questions. In fact, they did what they could to try to stop us. But the people up here were determined to tell the story. Uh, let me introduce them to you. Jim Gilmore is my long-standing uh, co-producing partner and the reporter on this film. Uh, our other partner, supremely clear-headed Mike Weiser, couldn't be here today, uh, nor could uh, Phil Bennett, the driving force behind the creation of the project. Steve Fainaru and his brother Mark uh, Fainaru Wada, the authors of the book League of Denial, were generous and thorough collaborators who stuck with us when the going got rough. The talented editor was Steve Audette. Nothing stopped Steve. Thank you. Coordinating producer Colette Nehru's Hannah is our secret weapon, as is L uh, associate producer Lauren Izzell. And here's a special plug, a UGA graduate who I met here in 2007, picking up the award, pursued her, hired her, and she's fabulous. <laughs> and then of course there's David Fanning, the creator and executive producer of Frontline, his trusted deputy executive producer, Rainey Aronson, and our journalistic North Star who's out there in the audience somewhere, Lewis Wiley. When the going got rough and tough, so did they, but in the most elegant way. Thank you, Dave. Uh, before ESPN abandoned us, uh, under some pressure from the National Football League, as Ira said, uh, we came to know and value the journalists who work there in a special unit. That's Dwayne Bray, Chris Buckle, and others. Uh, we are comrades in arms with you guys, no matter what happened uh, with the film. That special unit continues to be special. Uh, one other thing, I'd just like to thank our partners, wives, and husbands, Megan, Callie, Monica, Karen, John, Denny, and Nicole, Maureen, and to my wife and first audience, Natasha. Our love, respect, and gratitude. And thanks finally to PBS, and, and uh, you stuck with us? Thank you very much. No other network would have supported this program the way we wanted to tell this story. And to WGBH in Boston, the best television station in America. Thank you very much. <laughs>